Navino, uh, Jack Burrow picnic is arranged as a punishment to Nicholas and Nicholas has to stay at home. Now in this part we are going to discuss Saki presents that uh, conflict between Nicholas and his aunt further develops, further develops. When the children get ready for the picnic, when the children get ready for the picnic. Now let's see what's happening there. Now uh, aunt, uh, Nicholas aunt arranges the picnic quickly without any planning. There is no planning. There is no planning. Hmm? No preparation even. She only wants to impress Nicholas. Hmm? Not uh, for other children to enjoy, but for Nicholas to suffer, to be worried, unhappy. Okay. Now aunt uh, hires a horse cart for the picnic. Hmm. And other children, they try to get into this cart to begin their expedition. Nicholas is looking at them. The aunt is looking at Nicholas' eyes. Right? Now that is the setting. The other children are trying to get into the horse cart. Nicholas is looking at them. The aunt is looking at Nicholas' face. She does not uh, care about those children. A few decent tears. Underline. Well, look for on the part of Nicholas. When the moment for the departure of the expedition arrived. Ah. Few decent tears. You know tears. Now auntie is looking at Nicholas' face, expecting some tears. Decent tears, good tears. Now Nicholas must cry. According to aunt's uh, punishment, Nicholas must have tears in his eyes, unhappy tears, because he has lost a very funny picnic. Hmm. On the part of Nicholas, when the moment for the departure, departure means leaving of the expedition arrived. Expedition means that uh, Jack Burrow picnic. That is why auntie is looking at uh, the boy's face, expecting some tears. Why? Why she needs tears? These tears means her punishment is successful. That is why she wants tears from Nicholas' eyes. If Nicholas cries, if Nicholas cries, her punishment is okay. Uh, therefore, she is looking at Nicholas' eyes until he cries. But you know who cries. Nicholas does not cry. You know he's very tough guy. 
strong-hearted boy. Hmm? Aunt cannot uh, take tears from this boy's eyes easily. But you know who cries. As a matter of fact, really, actually, actually, matter of fact, all the crying was done by girl cousin. Who cries here? Nicholas does not cry, but that girl cousin, little girl, she cries loudly. Why? She scraped her knee, scraped. She hurt, wounded her knee rather painfully, in a painful way, against the step of the carriage cart. When she tries to get into the horse cart, she slips. Her foot and falls off. Ah. Right? When she was scrambling in getting in, trying to get in, because this little girl, the horse cart is very high and does not help this girl. She herself tries, when she herself tries to get into the cart, she falls off and hurt her knee. And she cries loudly. Ah. The auntie is very angry, unhappy. Why? She never expects tears from the girl cousin. Tears are expected from Nicholas' eyes. Now, instead of Nicholas, that little girl cries. Aunt is unhappy, even angry. But Nicholas is happy. Nicholas knows Aunt wants him to cry. Therefore, Nicholas says, he expresses his happiness. How she did howl. Howl means shout, cry like an animal. Mm. How she loudly cried. Howling like a dog. Said Nicholas cheerfully. Happily. Cheerfully means happily. As the party drove off. When those children, party means picnic party, went away, drove off without any elation, delight, happiness of high spirits, good heart. Without any happiness, those children went on that Jagboro picnic. Right? That should have characterized and that trip should have those characteristics, qualities. But without those qualities, they live. Nicholas is happy. Aunt is unhappy. Then the aunt says, she'll soon get over that. Hmm. She will soon forget it. Recover from it. Ah. And says, that little girl will quickly forget it and recover from it. Said the soy Edison aunt. Soy Edison is a critical remark, critical reference to this woman. That aunt. The woman who calls the aunt. That is the idea of this. Soy Edison aunt. The woman who calls the aunt. It will be a glorious afternoon, underline. This woman who is named as or called as the aunt, she says, ah, it will be a glorious afternoon, very happy, funny afternoon, great afternoon for those children. Because about over those beautiful sands, they will play in that beautiful beach. But you do not have that delight, Nicholas. These children will enjoy how they will enjoy themselves. 
Mm, they will enjoy this picnic too much, Nicholas, too much. You don't have that opportunity chance because of your bad behavior. Mm. Now you know this Nicholas, he does not take anything seriously. Nicholas says, Bobby, Bobby means that boy cousin. Bobby will not want means will not enjoy. Bobby won't enjoy himself much. He won't race. Race means run. He will not run much either. Now Nicholas predict for sure. He says Bobby will not enjoy his picnic. Hmm? He will not even run in the beach race, say Nicholas with a grim chuckle. What is grim chuckle? Very critical, cynical, or mm, laugh, sarcastic laugh, grim chuckle, insulting laugh, critical, grim chuckle. Why? Why Bobby? Hmm. Nicholas explains why Bobby does not enjoy himself. What is the reason? Underline, his boots are hurting him. They are too tight. Ah. Now this uh, Bobby has a problem. This Bobby has a problem with his shoes. Boots mean shoes. His shoes are tight. Now you know what happens when you have tight uh, small shoes. Smaller than your feet. It will be very painful to your feet when you walk. Walking becomes very painful when you have tight shoes. Ah. Now, Nicholas says, this picnic will not be enjoyable to anyone. The girl cousin will not enjoy. Even Bobby will not enjoy. Even Nicholas' brother, he will never enjoy because he does not know any enjoyment. Uninteresting. Now, you see, Nicholas' criticism, critical remarks on Aunt's picnic. Then Aunt questions, why didn't he tell me they were hurting? Aunt questions Nicholas, uh, why didn't Bobby tell me that his uh, boots were tight? He should have told me. But Bobby told her, she never cared, Nicholas says, underline. He told you twice. He told you two times, aunt. He told you two times, two times, two times, but you never listened. <laughs> you did not listen because you are not a listening woman. Very serious criticism. You often don't listen when you tell you important things. When you tell you good things, you don't listen. Hmm? You don't listen. Now, this is a serious criticism on uh, the aunt. Now, Nicholas says, aunt is a careless guardian to children. A serious criticism. Then aunt makes another punishment. What is this time? You are not to go into the gooseberry garden. Hmm, Nicholas, you cannot go to the gooseberry garden today. Second punishment. First punishment is Nicholas cannot go to Jagborough Beach. Uh, first punishment. Second punishment, Nicholas cannot go to Gooseberry Garden. 
Nicholas loves this place, Gooseberry Garden. Why? Gooseberry Garden is like a small jungle, forest. It's full of adventures. Mm. Very serious place. Mm. Nicholas loves to be there in this small forest. Said the aunt, change in the subject. Now she says, change in the subject. Then Nicholas questions, why not? Why cannot I go there? What is the reason? Hmm? Hmm? Then aunt has the reason. What is the reason? Because you are in disgrace. Because you are in a bad situation today. You are a bad boy today. That is the idea. Hmm? You are not a good boy today. You have insulted me several times. You have criticized me. You have put a frog into my breakfast. Therefore, you are in disgrace. Said the aunt loftily, somewhat uh, uh, proudly loftily. Right. What is Nicholas' response? Nicholas did not admit Nicholas did not believe or take, accept the flawlessness. Flawlessness means correctness. Correctness, accuracy. Correctness of this reasoning. Nicholas says this reasoning is not correct. Aunt's reasoning is not correct. Why? He failed perfectly. Nicholas thought that he is capable, he can, capable means can. He can be in disgrace. Nicholas can be in disgrace for naughty boy simply, disobedient boy. Nicholas can be a disobedient boy, naughty boy, mischievous boy, and also in a gooseberry garden. At the same time, he can go to gooseberry garden if he wants. This is Nicholas' skill, talent. Hmm. He is quite confident. He can do two things together. Hmm. Very smart boy. He can be a naughty and at the same time he can be in the gooseberry garden. Therefore, aunt's punishment is useless. Like the Jackboro Beach punishment. That is the idea here. But he, his face took an expression of considerable obstinacy, disobedience. But Nicholas pretended to be disobedient. Ah, he pretended to have disobedient look. Hmm. But it was clear to his aunt, it is clear to his aunt that he was determined to get into the gooseberry garden. He will surely go into the gooseberry garden. Aunt knows. Because Nicholas will never listen to her orders. Because she remarked to herself. She told to herself. Because I have told him he is not to. I told him not to go, go there. But he will go there. He would go there definitely. Because I told him. Uh, Nicholas often does the opposite. If Aunt said, don't go, he would go. If Aunt said, go, he would not go. That is his character. Right. Now, that is the end of that part of the short story. We write down the comment for that part. We write down the comment for that part.
item. The conflict between the conflict between Nicholas and his aunt the conflict between Nicholas and his aunt Further, if you are T H E R, further further develops D E V E L O P S develops When the other children, when the other children get ready, when the other children get ready for The picnic to Jackborough Beach for the picnic to Jackborough Beach Jackborough Beach. The aunt, the aunt keeps looking at, keeps looking at Nicholas' eyes. Nicholas' eyes. Expecting, expecting some tears, Some tears. Please caught a few decent tears were looked for on the part of Nicholas when the moment for the departure of the expedition arrived. Go on writing.
Nicholas Stiers. Nicholas Stiers. Are uh, important. Are uh, important to his aunt. His tears. His tears. His tears mean. His tears mean that his tears mean that Uh, punishment on Nicholas. Uh, punishment on Nicholas is successful. Is successful. However, aunt's expectations, aunt's expectation aunt's expectation is disappointed is disappointed when the girl cousin begins to cry When the girl cousin begins to cry after scraping, after scraping, her knee. After scraping her knee, against the iron step, STP, again the iron step of the horse cart Nicholas is happy Nicholas is happy to hear H-E-A-R. Nicholas is happy to hear
the loud crying. The loud crying, L O U D. The loud crying of the girl cousin. Because he knows that, because he knows that. His aunt, his aunt, has been expecting, has been expecting him to cry. has been expecting him to cry. Please note down. How she did howl, said Nicholas cheerfully. Caught. How she did howl, said Nicholas cheerfully. Okay, go on writing down. The aunt, is quite angry. The aunt is quite angry. About about Her disappointment, her disappointment in punishing children. Punishing children. Especially Nicholas. She expresses her anger. She expresses her anger. She expresses her anger by glorifying G L O R I F Y I N G. 
by glorifying the picnic by glorifying the picnic please caught these words it will be a glorious afternoon for racing about or oh, those beautiful sands how they will enjoy themselves Write down. The aunt arranges. The aunt arranges. The Jagboro picnic. The Jagboro picnic. without any pre-planning without any pre-planning without any pre-planning. Therefore, 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 Nicholas, therefore Nicholas, predicts, P-R-E-D-I-C-T-S, Nicholas predicts that The picnic the picnic will not be will not be A happy one, happy one on some logical reasons.
on some logical reasons. One reason is One reason is One reason is The girl cousins Injured, I N J U R E D. Injured leg. The other reason is Bobby's Bobby's tight shoes. Tight shoes. Right shows. The aunt. Without considering. Without considering. These facts, without considering these facts, sends away sends away the other children to Jackborough picnic. On Jackborough picnic, And Nicholas knows that this picnic will be unsuccessful. This picnic will be unsuccessful. He also criticizes He also criticizes the aunt the aunt C R I T I C I S C S criticizes the aunt 
for neglecting n e g l e c t i n g for neglecting the children's important problems for neglecting the children's important problems the aunt is the aunt is commented on as a careless guardian as a careless guardian g u a r d i a n guardian to the children as a careless guardian to the children please quote these words he told you twice but you weren't listening you often don't listen when we tell you important things Go on writing down. The aunt is furiously. F U R I O U S L Y. The aunt is furiously enraged. E N R A G E D. By Nicholas's comment by Nicholas's comment because it is the truth. It is the truth. It is the truth. She is not concerned about the children's needs. to punish Nicholas disrespectful words to punish Nicholas's disrespectful disrespectful words she invents INV E N T S. She invents another punishment. By prohibiting P R O H I B I double T I N G. Banning. Prohibiting. 
the gooseberry garden. The gooseberry garden for Nicholas. Please caught. You are not to go into the gooseberry garden. You are not to go into the gooseberry garden. Go on writing. The gooseberry garden. Is very adventurous place. Is very adventurous. A D V E N. T U R O U S adventurous place for Nicholas for Nicholas and he visits it every day and he visits it every day. Full stop. The aunt expects. The aunt expects that the second punishment. The second punishment. will hurt Nicholas, will hurt Nicholas painfully, P-A-I-N, F-U-W, painfully because It is his favorite place because it is his favorite place. But for Nicholas, next sentence. But for Nicholas, the second punishment, the second punishment is also Meaningless, meaningless, M E A N I N G L E W S, meaningless and not effective, not effective. Not effective. Because Nicholas is confident, 
Nicholas is confident that he can be in disgrace he can be in disgrace as well as in the gooseberry garden in the gooseberry garden if he wants if he wants Please, God. He felt perfectly capable of being in disgrace and in gooseberry garden at the same moment. At the same moment. Go right in. Even the aunt knows. Even the aunt knows that Nicholas Nicholas will surely Nicholas will surely visit the gooseberry garden because he never he never obey o b e y s obeys uh, orders Her uh, orders. Nicholas often does. Nicholas often does. O F T E often. Does. The opposite. The opposite of the aunt's orders. The opposite of the aunt's orders. At the end of this conflict, at the end of this conflict,
at the end of this conflict, the aunt the aunt goes first into the gooseberry garden goes first into the gooseberry garden to stop Nicholas from entering it from entering it from entering it okay uh, that is the end of uh, the comment for that part of the short story uh, we'll discuss uh, the other parts of the short story in our next session